Welcome back to another video. Today we're doing the real minimum requirement of Armored Core 6 Fire of the Rubicon. The dev said that you need a i7 4790K or a i5 8400 or on the AMD side the Ryzen 7 1800X or the Ryzen 5 2600. 12GB of RAM, a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 4GB or AMD Radeon RX 480 4GB. DirectX 12, I mean we have a lot of card that we can try to go lower than that. 60GB of space and Windows compatible audio device. I'm not sure why you will have uncompatible device but anyway. Welcome to Respawn PC, I'm Dunk. Let's game on. I'm going to start just below the proposed minimum requirement. I mean, I'm going to go uh, i5 4690, 8GB, a GTX 960. Everything will be played at 720p low. It is an FPS game, but it's not a competitive FPS game and not against other players. So the goal right now would be 720p, 30 FPS, low settings. And for that uh, setup, we currently have an average of 50 FPS. So the proposed minimum requirement is wrong because that setup is lower on every point from the proposed minimum requirement. But we don't know what the dev had in mind. Is it 720p? 30 FPS, 720p 60 FPS, 1080p 30 FPS, or 1080p 60 FPS, we don't know. Let's quickly check what it will look like at 1080p with that current setup. Still everything at low settings, we're reaching a 44 FPS, still highly playable from my point of view. We get the high FPS in the 52s and the low FPS reach a 34. So it's again highly playable if your goal is not a 60 FPS but just play the game and you can do it at 1080p. The GPU is pegged at 99% and the memory is at its maximum also, the VRAM I mean. I'm going to crank up at medium and see if we can still play and reach uh, near 30 FPS. And will you look at that? 40 FPS for the GTX 960 4GB variant, not the 2GB by the way, at 1080p medium. This is really highly playable and it's also really smooth. The GPU is pegged, yes, and the VRAM is maxed out, yes. The CPU still have headroom, but I would say it's a win. But let's head back to what we were looking for, 720p, low 30 FPS. So I drop the 960 to the GTX 950, 2GB, 720p, low. The game was again highly playable, we were reaching a FPS of 57. A uh, hangar or a bunker, not sure what is it, but when you reach outside, the FPS drop quite a lot. So the average went to 48. So this uh, Hi5 4 Gen, 8 gig of RAM, and the GTX 950 is highly playable with those settings. So I think we still can drop at least the GPU and the CPU. So before dropping the CPU, I decided to try a lower GPU. So this is the GT1030 GDDR5, not the DDR4 variant. And that uh, Hudley card give us a nice average of 31 FPS with some lows in the 20s and high in the high 40s. I think we just found our winner GPU for this game or 720p low. Same go for the memory. We barely touching 7GB of memory, so 8GB should be also the winner. We just need to figure out which CPU is it, because we still have a lot of headroom. And the drop CPU, I went directly to a first gen Intel i5-650. That's only a 2-core 4-thread CPU with a 3.2 and a boost at 3.46 GHz. But let's see if it can handle this game. I paired it with the 8 GB, which is supposed to be the winner, and the GT 1030 2 GB GDDR5. With the setting at 720p low, we reach an average of 31 FPS. I guess this is a real winner. So if you want to play at 720p or super low budget, uh, first gen Intel and a junky hold uh, GPU, you can play. Sorry, there's no sound on that uh, clip because that motherboard uh, sound card is dead. I need to find myself another uh, motherboard LGA 1156 so I can record the sound. So our current winner for the real minimum requirement for Armored Core 6 Fire of Rebecca at 720p load will be the i5-650, 8GB of memory and the GT-1030. If you want to play at 60fps it will be the GTX 960 with 8GB and I guess i5-4690, but I'm pretty sure that an i7 third gen or even an i7 second gen will be able to manage that FPS at 720p. And on that note, thanks for come watching and see you on the next Propose or Real Minimum Requirement. Subscribe!